So I have a really simple GitHub workflow. It just checks the version of Node running within this container instance. But I run it within GitHub and I run into this issue where it's just giving me really weird names. I want to control what names are shown for both the workflow and the jobs within the workflow. And right now it's just showing their ID. So for the job it's showing this unique ID and for the workflow itself it's showing the relative file path. I, I, I like to update this. So I'm going to go in and for the job I'm going to add a new property called name. And here I can say test node with workflow save it and I'll create a commit with a message called rename job. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that locally and push it from my local Git repo to my remote, which is GitHub. Go back into GitHub, go to actions, and we'll see that our workflow has been named to test node with workflow and it's gonna run. We already know it's going to just test the version of node NPM. But I'd also like to rename this first job. This name isn't really useful. So let's go in and give it a more useful name. Eventually, what I like to do is do a node build. So I'm going to name it just that name. Build with node. Save it. I'm going to create a new commit called rename job. Commit that locally. Push it from my local Git repo to my remote, which is, again, GitHub. Now from here, I'm going to go into GitHub, go to my actions. There's my rename job, and I probably should have gave it a better commit message, but here, build with node is the name of the job. Even though it's still technically running the same file, we know that it has a friendly name that makes it a lot easier for me if I'm maintaining that. So you can actually go into your workflow file and see that it's pulling the name from these name properties. You can see it's building. It's going to initialize my node container, which is running 12.18.4. It's a pretty fast pull. There we go. There's my container. And then once it pulls that node container image, it's going to run the rest of the steps in this workflow within the context of that container, which gives us the node and NPM versions that I expect.